Stage one, we have running a design project, a technical project, and folio, and folio runs through the whole year. And what you see here is the first three weeks of the year where they develop proposals based on Italo Calvino's Invisible Cities. It describes a city called Zenobia, uh, which are buildings on an arid landscape sitting on piles. So each building or each element is, is interconnected. So initially I started off with a sketch of what I interpreted the city to be like. I'd done it on bamboo sticks because I thought that would quite create, uh, create quite a dynamic composition and design. You have your own independent work, but then today it was sort of all our group would come together and we could also create the city as literally as everyone and create our final composition. In the autumn term we have a design project based in Margate and in the spring term we have de uh, they design a little exhibition centre that's based in the middle of Canterbury. There is a real kind of focus on that creativity and fostering that so that going into second and third year you can really inject your personality into, into your work. You can sort of just still continue to push boundaries, but you're always you know, helped by a foundation of logic and good technical understanding. In stage two, we do a design module called landscape. So it's mainly focused on looking at landscaping of a place, including you know, trees and plants. And what we try and do is make students understand that you know, in this day and age, there is limited resource, that it's something important, and that you have to really think carefully about what you're using. And it's quite an important year because it lets you work out exactly what kind of architect you want to be. That then leads on in the autumn term to a project called Collective Dwelling, creating a sense of community and repetitive units as well, and domestic scale construction. Housing is a big topic at the minute. It's coming back in the fall, there is not enough around. So this idea of designing one unit, whether it's a flat or a house, that can then be multiplied. I mean, what I'm promoting in second year, I suppose, is a humanist approach to design. In fact, one of the things we've got which really only the BA undergraduate students use is our newly, uh, newly refashioned digital crit space. And here we've got eight huge interactive screens and students bring their work. And we also uh, send students out for their year out in practice. We help students uh, find this year out if they haven't found one already. We get lots of offers from local and regional architects who come and see the students' uh, final exhibitions, for instance, in June and July. Our design projects in Stage 3 are linked, so our first module is looking at existing buildings. So we run a module called Adapt and Extend, and we introduce them to the notion of conservation practice and working with existing drawings of buildings. We have links with quite a lot of local councils, and we like to base our final year project on a, a live project, so something that's actually going to happen. So we're looking in that context at two buildings, the old Cliftonville Lido, derelict Lido, and also the Theatre Royal in Margate. And they're designing historical conservation in relation to the theatre and a new health facility in relation to the Cliftonville Lido. And most architecture students from Kent will find a job within the industry very quickly after graduation because they will be trained to such a high level and competent in such a vast array of uh, techniques, design techniques, um, computer software technologies. We're one of the few schools of architecture in a green campus university, uh, so we're outside a, a lovely historic city uh, of Canterbury and uh, less than an hour away from central London by train, so that's quite a plus point. I think coming here is really good because it really does expand your horizons. Um, not only are you studying in a different country, but it's Especially this course, I think it's a very international course. So you're also mixing with a lot of people from different uh, parts of the world, different cultures, with different architecture. But we're all coming together and we're studying the same thing here. If you do get to know the tutors and can go to them for advice, and that, I think that's what makes it special here, is that there's like a strong sense of community. Mm -hmm.